So now ever since Lena and King announced that they will be hosting on their separate channels, they got people wondering, are they taking a break from their relationship? Will Lena post it on TikTok and people felt like she was throwing shade towards the situation? Maybe they are taking a break. I just needed some space so I feel free. Mommy, you don't mind this time because you're not me. Is she really better than me? So now the comments were stating, oh yeah, it's definitely making sense. Someone else states, King needs to be alone. He not his true self. And I think once he takes dancing seriously, he will be happy. And someone even states, well, you lose them how you get them. So now you guys leave your opinions on this down in the comment section below. Now, Lena also explained why they are posting on their separate channels. She's basically stating that they need a break from each other because they're always together. We can't only be just together. We can't only be codependent on each other. We have to be individuals and have our own identity and have our own hobbies and go out by ourselves and connect with our friends again. You know, I feel like it's a very normal normal thing that you know for the for the time that we've been together that it's just been us because we've created this life together and honestly I wouldn't want it any other way but I was in time understand I feel like when I first got into a relationship everything obviously is on God's timing right everything happens for a reason we did go pretty fast and an average couple and not to say that we didn't love each other or like it's not what we wanted it just happened really fast and we got really really attached to each other we started working together we're working from home or doing everything together at this time I'm pregnant so it's like I really can't go out and do much um so we just became very like dependent on each other which there's nothing wrong you should always depend on your partner I feel like over the past three and a half years it's became like honestly we we do it so good people a lot of people would not be able to do it for this long without there being an issue and I thought there was an issue but when we was in Thailand I feel like it was fun to miss each other it was fun to for me to go out and just do things by myself or so you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Do you guys think that Lena and King may be taking a break from their relationship? Or is Lena right here? Everyone needs some space when they're constantly together all the time. But let's move on to this next topic with Corey and Danny. Now, yesterday I reported that they unfollowed each other on social media. And Danny even went live stating that she was getting ready to expose everything on Corey. Now, Corey only had a few things to say about knowing who people really are. Then Danny came back and responded with, I'm not the person to run to the internet when certain things happen. I really don't care about the next person's opinion. I'm trying my best to handle this as professionally as possible because don't push me. It's a whole lot more these People don't know, and I've seen way more. Believe me, I don't care about you being sympathetic at all. If you want to get some things off your chest, let's go, because I'm a real bee. I don't like that indirect ish. Let's get this ish over with or close your effing mouth. People tired of you playing victim in every situation, but I guarantee you, you met your match. I'm not going vent in session for vent in session, live for live, indirect post for indirect, or none of that corny a ish. Then Corey comes back and responds with, every time I feel like I'm being played with, I just talk to God. Gotta control your emotions. I've learned that people love to start stuff and want you to give them a reason to do evil stuff towards you. As long as you stay calm and keep God first, he will protect you. Don't react out of your own emotions because that's when you cause the chaos that they wanted in the first place. The devil work very evil and strategic, but God work with love. Love is what love does. Peace is priceless. If someone want to hurt you, let them. It'll only show who they really are to the world. God gonna heal you. God oversees everything you're going through. Don't try to prove a point to humans when the whole time you only need validation from God. He control all of this. Stay strong through every battle that come your way and you will prosper in front of the people that was cheering for your downfall. Now, one of those people that may be cheering for his downfall is Chris Sells because he had some things to say about the whole situation with Carmen getting a new car from Boogie and Corey out This has got to be monkeys. studied. Corey paying females to date him. 
and and boogie barn Carmen cars. I just love when girls get treated like a princess after dealing with a lion. I really do. Now, I did see a little video on Carmen speaking on me, and she said something like I tried to collab with her, but she said she thought I was going to troll. I really wasn't going to troll. But Carmen did just hit me up to do a podcast with her. What y'all think I should do? She did DM me, and she said, yo, Chris, I want you to do this podcast with me. So y'all think I should do it or not? But anyways, how y'all feel about book buying my girl Carmen the car? Because I felt like she did a, she did a big one, even if it was a fake relationship, even if it wasn't. Who knows? At this point, we don't know. I don't believe none on social media because I was in a relationship where we did a lot of fake shit. So who knows? We don't know. But I'm just happy to see her happy. While Carmen, I mean, while Corey over there playing with a monkey. Call me back. So now if you guys didn't know, Danny and Corey have a child together, which they're calling their daughter. Now, this daughter is a monkey and Corey has been spending a lot of time with her. Well, Danny was on live yesterday and she stated that the monkey was actually missing Corey. Not sure she put Corey out, but she stated that Corey was coming back to get her because she was all sad that Corey left. What's going on, girl? Why you been sad? You been sad because your daddy gone? Ow! Why you just bit me? You know what? He coming back, Clover. He coming back. He only been gone like four hours. Come on now. He coming back. I promise you. You don't want me touching you. You don't want me trying to do your pamper. You just been sad. I bought you a new bear. Dad's not working. I bought you Chick-fil-A. Dad's not working. What you want me to do? Here. Here. Get a berry. Here. Yes, Mika, she mad at me. She won't go. Clover is not acting right. He might as well come get her. I'm about to let I'm about to let Corey come get you. Okay. Okay. Cool. Here. Here. Y'all, she ain't acting right. Somebody said that's a cute, ugly monkey. Y'all better stop. We're going to go buy you some bowls today, okay? People already think you're a little boy, so we got to go buy you some bowls. She do love Corey better, and that's crazy. This my second monkey, but she love Corey. Okay, I'm about to call him so he can get you, okay, mama? Damn, look at y'all little bed. You done missed your... <laughs> you done did the most in here. Okay, y'all. Let me call Corey because my baby is depressed. I don't like that. What happened to the first monkey, uh, Rose? She um hung herself in her cage. I had her like a big cage with a lot of ropes in it. She swing from the ropes. And she tied herself up. And when we checked on her, like, in, like, the next hour or so, she was hanging in her cage. So, that's why I got Clover this cage right here. And I, I'm not going to hang no ropes or nothing from me. Like, I don't even want that type of cage for her. Okay, y'all. So, let me call Corey so he can come get uh, Clover because... She she being real real depressed right now. She won't even eat the fruit that I bought her. She won't even eat. And I feel so bad. So let me let me call him so y'all go ahead and spam him and tell him come get clover. <laughs> 